So I've created a little curve rope trim brush that you can use for decorative details around swords and walls and stuff like that, which you can download for free from the video or the description rather in the video link below. To use it, just put it on your hard drive, press B, hit load brush, browse to the folder where you've installed it. I have SF underscore rope trim detail brush is the name of it. Uh, click open and that's it. It's intended to be used as a closed loop. So if you have something circular or oval or square or whatever, that's what its original intention was for. So you click somewhere on your model while holding down off your model, press shift and it will create a loop for you around here. Now you'll see sometimes this happens where you get a little gap here and this can be fixed one of two ways. Usually either you increase the curve resolution and you click the link again and that may fix it. You see that's getting a little bit better there. Increase it again if that's not quite enough. Um, and sometimes, yeah, <laughs> sometimes that doesn't improve it, but then the depth will. So um, if you click on the depth, that generally pulls it back together again. So depending on how deep you want it, what size you want it, all that kind of stuff, you may or may not experience that problem. Like, But um, generally you can kind of get away with it by either changing the curve resolution or the depth to whatever it is that you're looking for. I'm going to make this a little bit deeper and uh, maybe a tiny bit smaller. And then alt click anywhere off your model to lock it down into place. I um, hope this helps and if you like it, please do consider subscribing and liking. And also leave a comment below if you have any issues with it. Thanks. Bye.